Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're looking for the eighth heroine. It's got to be around here somewhere. So the sword is right over there. The actual statue of the woman herself, hard to tell. I want to say we'll start here and see where we go from there. All right, so let's jump up as best we can. <laughs> Won't take us very far, but let's give us a head start. We can start climbing up here. We've got enough endurance. We should be able to make a good chunk of the way. Um, I don't know if we have any stamina potions right now. Oh. Huh. It's a thought. Might not actually. If I don't, this is going to be real narrow. Well, if I don't, we'll jump off and figure out another way up. We made it up here originally. There's got to be another way up. There's at least a shrine, well, pretty far away. There's another, the other shrine's pretty far. Uh, we might not be able to make this. Now that I look at it. The overhang is definitely going to cause some problems. Huh. Um, yeah, this is an issue. Alright, never mind, hold on. Oh, and I dropped my death here. Don't, don't drop your death. Let's go over here first. We can find some spots to rest. We might be in a better idea. So let's do this. Yeah, okay. We just need to find the gentler slope to go up. Probably just safer anyway. That way we have a couple of spots to rest and we're good to go. Come on, Link. I know you're exhausted. You've been climbing this mountain for, I think, four in-game days. Something like that. Something crazy. Keep on insisting more and more of you. I appreciate your trooper. I was worried about whenever someone called me a trooper. That usually indicates they won't take advantage of me in some ways. You're quite the trooper. Yeah, that means you're going to ask something of me that I'm not going to like. Just get to it. I don't think I've ever found an exception to that rule. I think that's always been true. I mean, most for the most part, the only person who ever called me a... Let's see. Who's called me a trooper? It's had to cut but a couple times. My grandpa used to do it all the time, but he never asked anything of me. Just, you know, hang out. Trooper. Boss asked me... my Well, not the, my current boss. When I was working at the movie theater. Um, for some reason... One of the supervisors would always call everyone troopers. And he would do that just before he wanted to ask something from you, you know? Hey there, trooper. Or you're a real trooper. You're doing really well. And then he would say, he would segue into, you know, theater three needs to be clean top to bottom. And by the way, I can only spare you. I can't actually, you know, give you the right number of people to actually clean this for the next show. So guess what? It's all you, but you're a real trooper. You can handle it. I mean, we kind of hate the term. Okay, so there's just a bunch of trees here. Nothing else here. And the chill shroom and the truffle. Don't mind if I do. A random tree branch for no good reason. And birds. Well, you know what? The birds can just hang out. I'm okay with the birds hanging out there. All right, we claimed the, uh, the marker again. That's good. Got to be careful of the line up here. But if he doesn't see us, we can just ignore him. Or we might have to fight him. It's possible. So we're going to be on the other side. He was way to the south. So hopefully, he's not going to care about us right now. Okay, you though. Oh, not electric. So I needed to open the shrine. There you go. Just get rid of you immediately. We have so much monster loot, we're going to need to sell a bunch of this stuff. Okay, well, another wolf. Come on, do you want to prep this for me? I mean, I can electrify you if you like. Oh, he freaking interrupted me. I didn't even know that was possible. Get rid of you. 
I should encourage your friend to find something else to do. Is this real? I don't know if this is real. It might not be real. It's not real. Okay. I don't know if bombing it works, but... Oh no, throw it. I didn't like that. Oh, my bow broke before I got a good shot. Nope. There. No, I just missed him. Just missed him. He's gone forever. Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm glad he's gone. He's a jerk. Don't like him. One side here, we have... A glowing rock that's damn suspicious. Oh, this is the... Um... Right, there's the ice creatures that died of fire. Leave them alone. Do anything with them. They're all over the place, too. We grab the cool Safina. We got too close to that one. Alright. I mean, he'll chase after me for a bit, but it's alright. This is, um. Looks very artificial. Okay, this is the way we were going before, and this is the way we got to the shrine. And this is supposedly where we need to go. I don't see the statue, though. The statue should be freaking huge. The statue should be freaking gig ginormous. And yet... We go down the slope. I mean, maybe it's down the slope? And worse comes to worse... It always, uh, damn it, I missed him entirely. That was a bad shot. We'd always use, we can always climb back up the same way. Where you go, man? Where you gonna go? There. Oh, I didn't kill him. Not for sure that I was gonna take him out. Didn't hit him in the face is my problem. There we go, like that. Just put him in the face like that. Okay, so there's a climbable spot over there. I see that. Zoom. I can't really zoom. Yeah, there's no way Roach gets to me here. Why did I put a marker over there? What is over there? Uh, it's a good question. No idea. Let's get rid of that. I think I suspected something there, but now I don't know what I thought I was finding there. Now that's curious. I don't know what that's all about either. It seems like, okay, the sword's right here. We just circled around this. We went through the valley. Nothing was there. It's got to be big enough. It's on the slope here. I'm missing it. So, hold on. Let's just look at here. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Oh, good. Rivali's Gale is now ready. That's good. Not finding this thing. I go further down the slope. Okay. And the main problem is that they told us it was in the Highlands. Let's look at the quest again. Wrong quest. This one here. Yeah, we did close side etchings. That's fine. This is side quest one I want. Here we go. Worship to this day by her faithful. So, theoretically, we should be finding people. At least a person. We just need a picture of her torso somewhere. I wish it was a picture of her sword. A picture of her sword would be dead simple. I keep going back up here because... This is where her sword... Well, not exactly where her sword was, but... I'm going to go over and across. Lionel's going to see me, maybe. Actually, he might not. This seems lower on the other side. The fact that this is a giant crack, like, what caused this? What would have caused this? It kind of looks like something was dragged or maybe impacted here. I see this being an impact spot. 
Like a giant meteor came through and just wrecked the place. Some god picked up the statue of the 8th heroine and threw it. I'd see that too. That would indicate, that would probably explain a lot about the way this lined up actually. Actually, if that happened, it would make sense that it would be from Gerudo over to here and the statue would just be tossed. I mean, the gods are a little persnickety might be the word. You're not looking to upset them. I mean, they might still be upset by the word persnickety, but it's still better than the alternatives. Well, there's definitely a Korok seed thing over there, right? If they did throw it and it kind of skipped through this, so the sword got like careened off and ended up on this uh, this mountain. And the statue itself carved a path and dropped down here, maybe? The guess. I don't actually know. But it would be down in this valley, if anywhere. Is that a box? Is that a random box of something over here? No, it's a, um... The Korok seat thing. Oh, it's a... Timer. I stepped on it. I don't know where the next one is. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is the, uh, okay, this is a race. I forgot about this. Also something down there. Just a freaking area for Korok seeds everywhere. And we could do that, I suppose. We have the statue is actually tossed. You can see it like down here somewhere. But I don't see it there. Wish we could run a little bit faster than this, but that's what the snow boots are for, right? That's what we're here for. I mean, if it was going to be tossed from anywhere, it's weird that this is where it tossed from, because you'd think it'd be tossed from, well, down the frickin' from here, right? That's where the seven heroines are. It should have been chucked over this way. And so the lineup is wrong. Right, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Why is that there? What is that? Like, on the map it looks strange. I mean, we passed by this and we looked at it, but maybe... Something very peculiar about this. I mean, I keep seeing the hilt of the sword and going, that's something. Yeah, it is. We already looked at that. Sword. Very entertaining sword, but it's nevertheless just a sword. So I think it's just a weird part of how this lined up. If you're an actual chest, great. We keep finding these. Not saying we're going to be rich, but we're not poor. Okay, so this is nothing. What I'm seeing there is a random aberration of the way... Yeah, it's a little bit of... It's a poke. It slightly pokes out, that's all. I'm just asking for more clues, that's all. I mean, I can look it up in the wiki and see exactly what the where it's supposed to be. It'll give me exact coordinates and everything. I'm kind of tempted because we've spent a long time on this. Also, I've missed it by a hair. Sure. Oh, well, why not? Only other place I can think of is... Okay, there's the Copes of Trivers there. Do the Korok Seed thing. It burns your endurance like crazy just running. Alright, well, here we're at the slope. Unless I'm standing on or I don't see it. An actual real chest. Great. What is it? Another opal? Moonlight scimitar. Durability up. Apparently I have enough room for that. We have been burning through a lot of our weapons right recently. Not been good for us. Alright, so from here... 
already looked around here. I don't think we see anything here either. All right, you know what? I'm gonna look it up right here, live on stream. Let's see. Okay, so 801 location. Probably has a map there and everything. Okay, so... Yep, tons of treasure chests. Head northwest. Um, what? Hold on. What's saying there's a spot where you paraglide right into her hands? Um, did I miss that somehow? I mean, I must have, because I didn't see it. Okay, no, I totally missed it. Hold up. Okay, so if we look at the map, it's saying there's a spot. Holy fit. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking right there. Like how? What? <laughs> okay. So take that pin away. I want to put that. That's totally, that's totally one of the statues. And that. Okay, so we need to be able to... First of all, let's go over there. Totally visible on the map. Didn't even realize. Yeah, she does look to the north. You're right. Okay, so... Huh. So I'm really curious how that works. So... So, when the Gerudo... Oh, go away. When the Gerudo were making this... I wonder if they had, like... Oh, wow. We hit each other there. Um, that was really bad, too. I should probably just hit him with electricity. Or, sorry, with fire. Let's do that. Let's grab me a... Fire arrow. There we go. Okay, there he's done. So when the Grudo were making this area, or making the, uh... Can't carry any more melee weapons. Alright. When Grudo were carving these statues, were they carving them out of the mountains and then moving them over? To be fair, it does look like they're all in one piece. Like, it doesn't look like they've cut them... Like, if you look at the marble statues in, like, Rome, or Greece, or Egypt, or... Fuck, anywhere they make giant marbles, or make giant statues, not necessarily out of marble. They cut them out of, like, blocks, right? And then they move those blocks over to the location where they want the statue made, and then make further carvings from there. That is not what the statues look like for the Seven Heroines. It looks like they were carved in place. Which is crazy. But for this one, was it also carved in place, or was it supposed to be moved, or... It's crazy either way. Go away. Somehow he dodged me. There we go. You know what? These swords are pretty gold. I think we want to crack one of these swords. So let me get rid of Knight's Claymore, because that's pretty bad. There. Okay, so you you're not real. Fuck. I knew it just as soon as I looked at it. Freaking Joker here. Trying to freaking murder me. It's a freaking mimic. Hate mimics. Hate them with a fiery passion. Okay, so right at the right at the freaking Korok place, actually. You real? You're real. Okay. Pop you. Radiant shield. Oh, my amateur is full. No, we totally want the radiant shield. Um, I will trade out... Oh, we already have a Radiant Shield. That's alright. Um, I will trade out the Wooden Shield. For the Radiant Shield.
There we go. Alright, so right here at the Korok place, we might be able to get a lift here. Let's see. I mean, we could do this for Vivaldi's Gay, or Vivaldi's Gale. Over on that side. Could be... So let's do this. Let's do this here. That's not going to get me into her hands, though. But we will be right above her, essentially. Yeah, we're right above her now. So, drop it. Alright, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We got a kind of crosswind here. Actually, we have enough endurance, we should just be able to just coast down right into our hands. On top of our hands, one of those. There's like no way they carry this thing, right? Oh, there we go, statue of the entire one. What do you know? Right where the hilt should be. There you go. Okay, so we just need a picture. Excuse me, miss, if you could say please, or cheese, rather. We need to actually, like, save that. Should work. Do we need to, like, go up to her? It's weird it had a... Had a quest on her. I think that was it. So, okay, so, assuming this is it. I really wish there was a shrine around here. I mean, there might be, but... The hell is Heinmar, and why the hell do we care if he descended? If there's a shrine around here, the shrine marker is not going off, so... It's not even like an indicator. Okay, let's go ahead and teleport back to Gerudo Town. All the way back over here. See if he's satisfied with this picture. Probably gonna be very warm there, probably in the wrong clothes for this, but... We'll see. Just embedded there. Man, I would have spent a long time just looking for that. I guess eventually I would have looked at the map close enough and just poured over it. But it would have taken me some time. Right, it is only a little warm. It's not that bad. Oh, he's totally running away from me, isn't he? Stop running away! Uh, we could just wait here. He's probably going to do the circle, isn't he? Or no, he doesn't even do a full circle of the town. He just goes over there and runs back and forth in front of all these women. Although we need to look like a woman before he talks to us, don't we? Okay, so let's do this. Use the heat resistance anyway. Although it's going to be pretty cold here pretty soon. Hopefully he comes by soon. We can just hang out at the corner, though. Like, chasing him was probably a fool's errand, but... Let me stop now. Okay, so yeah, just need to go back around. See, action lead us on a chase all the way around. He stopped briefly. Okay, no, there we go. He turns around. Comes back for us. No? He's just racing in circles now. What are you doing, sir? Prefer if you didn't move too much. I was just to get right in front of him. If you like that in fly fashion, he can run. Here we go. Thank goodness, you made it back safely. We were gone for so long, I started to feel the worse. After come clean, the anti is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. I, well, I just wanted an excuse to get too close to you, you know? I wanted to keep you engaged, so I thought of something impossible to hold your interest. As a result, I put you in harm's way. I'm a clat. I've been so, so worried. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now, I'll be your protect- Found it. Uh... Are you trying to console me because I've been so heartsick over this? You're such a kind soul. But no need to coddle me. From now, I'll- No, no. You need to look at this. Here you go. That certainly is the way it's rumored to look. That... That's amazing! 
I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The Ethereum would actually exist. The rest of the world knew this. It'd be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Yeah, that's the way. It'll just be our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yeah, if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you... Well, your sand boots, please. Oh. Yeah, okay. Just a second. I'll take them off. He has other shoes, right? He does not appear to have other shoes. Okay. Treat them as tenderly as you would me. Now, could you be a lamb and return my snow boots? Otherwise, old Bozai is going to be barefoot. Okay, so there we go. So now he's not barefoot anymore. All right, we're done here. You know what? I didn't use those shoes at all. Boy, but these will make running the sand pretty difficult. And I'm pretty tired of it anyway from my jogging regimen. I'll just park myself under the tent in front of the group of town and take five. Here to join me later? Huh? Aw, goodbye. Okay, so we need to go back over to where he is. So now I can wear the sand boots. Eventually, won't let me. I right, throw complete. Great. Oh, hey, what do you know? I can actually run at normal speed. That's actually kind of nice. You've probably been using the sand boots when we were up in the highlands, but I totally didn't even think about it. It is kind of nice how fast we can move, though. Okay, so he said he was going to park himself over here. Hello there, sir. You! You came back. I mean, yeah. Hey, of course you came by. What's up? Uh, Look at you wearing those sand boots already, like a saucy little pink heron or something. You know, gotta say, they're designed for burly men like yourself, so I was worried they wouldn't fit such a flower as you. They look absolutely fantastic. Gosh, anyway, I realize we never really got a chance to chat earlier, so you want to give a spot somewhere to hang out? Oh, I really want those snow boots. What? You want my snow boots, too? Ah, why aren't we greedy? Or I should say, insatiable for boots. A boot thirst that cannot be saked. Aww. Adorable. But listen, if I give you these, I'll have nothing to wear for my feet. Mm. What should I do? Think, Bozai. I can't put her in a bad mood. Not blow this. Just relax. With little verbal magic. Mm. How could I request, resist a request from you? No lie. You gave, really gave me a surprise earlier, and I love surprises. Surprise me again like that. I give you these snow boots as a surprise present. Huh? Let me ask you this. Did you notice that the ace statue of the statue of the 8th heroine isn't actually holding a sword. Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, they all have swords. Suspicious, you know? Which leads me to deduce that the 8th heroine must have had a sword as well. Must have. Mm. See that such a sword actually exists, that my deduction is right, there could be no greater surprise. I already know where that is. That's totally fine. Really going? Alright then, the sword could be pretty big, so I doubt it could be carried off too far. I mean, it's probably somewhere in the steeps of the Gerudo Highlands. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I can't lend you the snow boots this time. Just can't do it. Really sorry. No way, normal person can make this Gerudo Highlands such good snow boots. Give up halfway through and come crawling back. Mm. So headstrong. I love it. I'll be waiting here, okay? This guy's a jerk. This guy's an actual, like, real jerk. Not feel bad about stealing his boots from him. Alright, well, I'm just pressing buttons at random now. Okay, so. We know the sword's right there. Let's see if you go take a picture of it. So let's go to... I mean, this shrine is technically the closest. You have to pass Lionel. Might be worth taking him out. Maybe. Well, his Gale is unfortunately not ready yet. Okay, so these boots are not going to help me, and not to mention it's freezing cold. There we go. So we're just going to have to climb the old-fashioned way. Ravaz Gale might get us over, might get us over the Lionel. Be a little risky. I don't know if it's going to be charged by then either. Charges fairly quickly, ish, kind of. Man, I could never do this. This free climb. I mean, first of all, he's freaking Spider-Man, right? This is a very, very smooth cliff. I did a little bit of climbing when I was in Utah. I lived in Utah. I mean, there's not much to do, to be honest. I mean, there's the internet. 
that kept me occupied for a while. At the time, also, there was this, uh... So was that... I'm trying to remember when that was. That would have been... Let's see, that would have been the year... Probably 2001 to 2004, roughly. Yeah, so there's, there's a couple of things to do, but really, I mean, not much. The internet existed, TV existed, but if you wanted to go out and meet people, you really had to find some kind of hobby and hope that, you know, interesting people would be around there. So I went to this, uh, there's, I mean, there's, mountain climbing is a big thing in Utah because there are a lot of good mountains in Utah. And of course, it's better to train in a more secure and safe environment. There's a lot of mountain climbing places you can go to. And it was fun. I was did like the first couple of starting setups they have with, you know, the big giant things stuck into the walls and you go climb those. That was cool. Um, I'm not very good at it. And of course, I'm still like deathly afraid of heights. So even though it was like, you know, only probably barely 20 feet off the ground and not too much had a belaying rope on me, still scared out of my fucking mind. I went back a couple of times, but I just never really got over that fear. I don't know what it is about heights. Something about heights just freaks me the fuck out. But um, yeah, I mean, I went back because I thought, oh, maybe I could just conquer my fear if I just do this enough times. Went back, I think, five or six times. And every time I got up to like the, the 10 foot mark, I'd be terrified. By the time I got up to 20 feet, my body just went, no, I'm not going any further. You can't make me. And just froze me in place. And I couldn't do anything. I had to basically just let go and let the belay just carry me down. I mean, it got to the point where when I went there, like the, I think it was like the fourth time, the person who was taking my money was like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, you are not have been going for like the full session every time. Because after I, after I get terrified, it's like, well, fuck that noise. I'm not doing that again, but I'd go back. I thought I thought I could, like, adjust the way my brain works, but it was one of my first lessons that I'm not in total control. I was, I was like the idea, it's, and now I know it's an illusion, but I like the idea that you can just, you know, completely control who and what you are and what you can and cannot do, and, you know, the... The body is has to obey the mind and all that good stuff, but no, that's not true at all. Not true at all. I wish it was. But unfortunately, there's just stuff that you just don't have any control over. Even though it's your own body, your own mind, there's just certain hurdles you can't cross by yourself. It's possible therapy could have done it if I'd like actually taken like professional help. I mean, how often does height actually come up in real life? I mean, every once in a while, I get to a tall building, but it's not that bad. As long as I don't go, like, straight up to the window, I'm fine inside of a tall building. I can feel the sway, which is not great. He's pretty far away over there. Should be able to take a picture of this. Ground sword, there you go. Oh, nope, just take a picture. There you go. That should do. Alright, let's teleport back. I guess I can unmark that now. I don't need that anymore. We need to know where the Lionel is, though, so I'm totally going to keep that mark. Up, up, and away! Really, we teleported so many times, this is no longer the original Link. I mean, that's probably true, but it's nowhere even near the original anymore. This molecule has been torn apart, distributed across Hyrule, supposedly reassembled again, but... I don't know. If it's magic, maybe it totally does work that way. Oh, we should probably use the sand boots again. All over here. So, sand boots and... Just in case we need to go back into town. Actually, this might be the last quest. This might be the last Gerda quest. We might be able to get the hat now. We'll see. They should give us an update, I think. That's true. Alright, hello there. Next time for sure, we will go on a date. 
Um, is he asleep now? I guess he's asleep now. Okay. I'm gonna guess it is two o'clock in the morning, to be fair. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Oh sure, now Rivali's Gale is ready. Okay, well, we can wait, I suppose. I don't think we have any other quests in the area. It has been a couple of days, so let's make sure. Let's go ahead and grab some more food. Uh, take them all. Alright, rupees, sure thing. Maybe get some melons too. There you go. Great. Um, I could probably, you know what, I can probably sell a bunch of stuff to you, right? Not the bolt fruit. Um, hold on. I want to talk to Dahlia. Talk to you. Not Dahlia, Lorne. Here we go. Yep, Nimbor's finally calm. Yep, yep, yep. Orange fruit stand, Patricia loves it. What do you think? It's pretty delicious, right? I sell to you? No problem. Okay, I would love to sell you a bunch of stuff here. I'm probably not the food, but any of these, just go ahead and sell all of those. Just all the mustard parts, don't need these. There's better desert clothes somewhere in this town. Really? Because the cloth merchant, cloth merchant across from this door right here is garbage. Seems like there'd be better heat clothes in Goron, the Goron town instead. All right, sell you that stuff. There you go. Gerudo's Secret Club. Secret Club sounds familiar. I don't know if I actually saw that or not. Could sell the star material. I think we're gonna go ahead and keep it though. Diamonds we definitely want to get rid of. The block of horns we don't need. But if we can get to 10,000, that'd be great, but I don't think we're going to get that from here. Every single bit of block of guts for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a long, hard road to 10,000. 500 each of the diamonds, though. That's nice. It's 1,000. Nice there. Yep, was a close tail. Sure thing. That's all yours. And we could save this stuff for upgrading our outfits, but whatever. Oh, the Ambers don't go for very much. Fortunately, we have a lot of them, but that was not very many at all. Sapphires as well. All of those. I didn't realize I had five sapphires on us. Alright, the rubies, all yours. Okay, we are going to get 10,000. I feel I'd teleport over to the ferry and hand those over. There we go. 10k. I was not expecting to be able to reach that. I'm happy. Okay, so what is this thing? Well, do good guts. Let's hold off on those. Sell the electric key swing for sure. I don't know if we can do anything with Muldugu guts. We already handed off the quest, so we're fine with that. Wonder if maybe there's something else we can do with it. Mm. Um, at the very least, it probably comes up for a... I don't know. Some kind of outfit. We want to, like, upgrade it to a fairy or something, but... Um, here you go. Do this. Oh, I have 106 teeth? That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. There's no reason to have 106 teeth. I mean, there's no reason to have, like, a lot of this stuff. I only have two restless crickets, right? I've not been catching crickets. I need eight more crickets on the regular. We need to go back to, like, I don't know, Hot No Village or something. And basically catch a bunch of crickets. Uh. Okay, we can sell at least half the teeth here. We don't need this many teeth. This is crazy. Um, so... Let's say 50, 60. That leaves me 50. That should be more than enough for what I need. 
All right, and I think that's the last monster parts. I think we're good otherwise. Yeah, we want to keep the ancient stuff because I want to turn that in. Are right, the Bakuman fangs? You know what? We'll keep the the other teeth instead, and sell these. And these are technically worth less, but whatever. Okay, we should be good. Okay, ship show you more sometime. Sure will. All right, so there's a Gerudo secret club somewhere. My question is where? I thought we explored all of the Gerudo town. Maybe not. Trouble is I've been kind of put off by just going into a random doorway. What does it say? Right, Sensial Rental Shop, right, right. The Secret Club. So we saw the, uh... Oh, isn't there a... Yeah, there's this here. We already have a hammer, but in case we need another one, I know where this one is. Let's see. So the, li the bar is over here. And then inside of here, I want to call this the library. Not really, but it's kind of what it is. Letty just researches all night, every night, huh? If anything good is inside the bar here. All right, I don't think she'll give me a drink because she thinks I'm too young. I see too many of you. Can't tell how old you are, but you look too little young to be coming to my shop. Yep, okay. Yep, she won't. Okay, yep, not pokey. That might technically be a quest. Oh, hey, Jules. Aren't those are clothes sold the fashion passion? I was thinking about buying some myself. How do they feel? Comfy? So are you, uh, I really don't know how to say it. Might you be a boy? You are, I knew it. It's really impressive you getting in here without anyone else noticing. No need to worry, I won't tell a soul. Just a little secret between us, Highly and Vi, right? Haha. Alright, well, Jules knows, but that's okay. These people are out, so that's not really what I wanted. Rima is sleeping right now. This is somebody's house, right? Yeah, it's totally. Oh, this is the end. That's the end, that's right. How about here? No, this is also just some random person's house. Sorry, random person. The door with a password. Oh, that's right. We learned the password. We totally learned the password. We did that. We we overheard them talking. Um, the only door that I remember being closed is over here. It was on this side of town anyway. I don't remember exactly where it was. It here it might be here yeah here we go what's the password oh shazbot they're gonna let me i don't remember i do not remember nope i don't think this is right nope it wasn't that yeah okay so we already we know the password just or we learned the past. Well, I don't guess I didn't learn it. If I had learned it, I would have, you know, paid attention to it. Won't be able to try again for an entire day. Fraz-tastic. Okay, well. So the guy should be awake now. Let's go talk to the guy and get our boots. And then I guess we can just build a fire and wait for a day. Uh, we should probably do is go and re-listen to those women again. See what the password is. I didn't write it down. It's my problem. You. Oh. Traveler Swery saw you in the Gerudo Highlands, so I've been gnawing my fingernails with worry. I mean, all that talk about the sword was just chit-chat. Didn't think you got up there without snow boots. Anyway, are you okay? Well, feast your eyes, buddy. It's a forgotten sword. It really exists. 
You went searching for it without a decent pair of snow boots. I mean, the Gruta Highlands are unforgiving. I doubt I could survive there, and I'm burly. Who are you? Well, the snow boots? Yeah, you did risk your life to fulfill your promise after all. It'd be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. Just a second. I'll take him off. Thank you. Well, now I'm barefoot. But if you're happy, then I'm happy. And what's more, the whole episode has endeared you even more to me. Your cutely greedy side, your sassy, playfully rude side, your unspectacularly tough side. Um, would you go out with not a chance? Ah, uh, I don't need to say that, but it would have killed you to let me finish the question. All right, that's done. Great. Um, so let's listen to the password again. I remember how to do it. Just need to be on the other side of the wall from them. Assuming, of course, they're going to have the same conversation again. Link is brutal, but it's important to shut people down quickly, you know? Don't, don't dilly-dally. You're not going to go out with someone and they ask you a question like that. You definitely do not want to just lead them on. So Link did exactly the right thing. Okay, so what's the password? Oh, that's right, GSC Diamond. Yeah, that's right, GSC Diamond. I totally forgot. All right, well now we know. Let's go ahead and go to the inn here and sleep. Yep, yep. Been to the up again. Oh, Lady Rojo. Okay, so let's just do the standard plan. Okay, um, I'd like to be woken in the morning. Great, so whole day passes, and we can go do the GSC Diamond. That's just so obvious. Gerudo Secret Club Diamond, yeah. Desert is a dangerous place, but you should be up for anything after resting. You say so, lady. All right, here we go. And chances are there's a quest inside here too, or maybe that'll be it. I just want the hat, that's all I want. Maybe never come back here again. Okay, so it's G, S, C, diamond. All right, you can come in. Here we go, all right. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. Looks like we got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions. I won't either. You remember here now, so thanks for your patronage. What the frick is with the frickin' skeleton? That's a special one made using luminous stone. If you're interested, you need to trade me the materials. Oh, there's a handling fee too. Okay. Oh, well... This is dead simple. I mean, to just hand you nine luminous stone, lady. That's easy. Eight hundred labor. Okay, you know what? Sure. There you go. Take good care of it. You bet. Okay, we've got a radiant shirt as well. I right, went pairing it with other clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the hat, which is just weird. Okay. Might be under 10k here, but we'll see. It's okay. Desert Vaux headband. We made armor for males, sold rarely by Gruta Retailers. Contains sapphire, a gem that harnesses the power of ice to make the armor. Okay, sure. Let's do it. 450 rupees. Okay, no problems. And then this one, Desert Vaux Spolder. Sapphire, which harnesses the power of ice to make hot climate more tolerable. Great. Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna be. Huh. We're gonna be just under 10k once I buy this. Yeah. It's okay. So it goes. We can get all those boosts back up. Alright, well, that's the clothing we wanted, so that should be it. Let's go talk to the chief and see if we have, in fact, Completed all the quests. 
If she says no, then we might be missing something. But I think we got them all? We talked to everybody in town, I thought. Unfortunately, I think we wear those clothes, they'll instantly identify us as a man, so we probably shouldn't wear them now, but it's nice to have those sets. Alright, so hello. I wore the Thunder Helm and fought along your side. I thought I heard the name called out on the wind. Riju. Oh. I haven't been called by that name in a while. That strong, warm voice would have belonged to Robosa. Riju. Oh. Such insolence. If indeed this valus is yours, not earned the right to speak so to the chief. Oh. <laughs> Let it go, Bellaria. Being called by my name for once in a while isn't so bad. Okay, so now can I do this? Mm. Thunder Helm still holds some of Robosa's power. You want to wield that power, then you must address the concerns of my people and be a resolution. Yeah, yeah. Have I done that, though? Apparently not. What quest am I missing? Oops, no, I wouldn't know. Hmm, I must be missing something, though. This is a stable, serene stable, Hyrule Forest. Oh, no, that's going say that's the one. No village, outpost ruins. No, I must be missing something. Well, shoot. They're not going to let me do it yet. Well, shoot, I must be missing somebody here. Alright, let me look it up. I thought we talked to everybody, but we must have missed something. I thought it been like the boots and the shrine just in case. There must be something extra. A little girl still needs some help. Huh. Um, so this is the helm. Um, let's see what the actual quest is called. That's not it. Doing that. Here we go. There we go. Thunder helm. So there must be... So there's a little girl quest I missed? How did I miss that quest? I talked to everybody, I thought. There are ten pieces of flint. We did that. Oh. Yeah, she does. She did talk about trash. That's right. Um. Hmm. Okay. No, go ahead and mark that. Go back, though. So, northernmost corner of the town, which would be over here. It's theoretically somebody. Sabota. You're a from out of town. I was just pretending to be a horse. Uh, why? You don't know about horsey fatback? You don't know how one you were here from? There was a big horse thing walking around like stomp, stomp, but... I say you went away somewhere. You must have left because everyone kept saying it was a bad boil time. A strange person there, little kid. Okay, so if I go north-ish... This kid. Oh, now she has a quest marker on her. I want to plant an orchard here. I picked up trash, I pulled the weeds, I tilled the ground. All the stuff you're supposed to do to make the earth happy. But, but, the trash. All this trash keeps getting washed down to the water trough, and now I can't use the water there anymore. If I can't use the water anymore, my orchard is doomed. Okay, now we got Mystery Polluter. Okay, well, let's see. So we follow the aqueduct here. Let's see. I don't see anybody here. Oh, wait. Somebody up there. This dude. He just throw he's just throwing rides in the That's a freaking aqueduct, you freaking madman. Mad woman, sorry. What's with you? How can I enjoy my snack with you staring at me, huh? Buzz off. Well, actually. 
What? Garbage? Small Vi is having trouble? Oh, sure, you spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle. Well, no, I do what I want. Uh? Don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. I need something for you in return. Altruism is for suckers. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild barrel, berry, and I'm gonna hold off on eating so many melons. I have tons of wild berries. Mm. Injury, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I, there's barely a point of it if you only bring me one. Mm. Let's see. I'll need at least ten. Uh, I don't know if I have ten wild berries. I might. Maybe. Um, let's see here. Oh, I have, I have 45. <laughs> okay, um, here. I can give you 45 of them if you want. Here you go. Mm. I haven't thinking about trash at all. Who can think about in a melon trance? Can't believe the rhymes I'm tossing are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? Anyway, I feel bad about the little vi. I'm gonna need at least 10 wild berries if you want me to stop. Here you go, berry delivery. Really? There you go. Sweetness! So that's a wild berry. Delicious and no rind to toss. What a magical fruit. If I have these, I might just give up on another fruit entirely. But now I feel bad for the little Vi. Now that my cravings be satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. Shame on me. I'm gonna go help clean up the trash. I really caused a lot of trouble, but now I'm gonna make it right. Sark so. That was easy. That was dead simple. All right, so now we come down here and see if we can grab the Thunder Helm now. Or see if there's some other quest I missed. Huh? Yeah, yeah, some robustness power, I must stress the concerns of my people, yada, yada, yada. Nope, not yet. Okay, so I missed yet another one? Bloody freaking Hellmouth, okay. Moduga, we did. Church for Bardo, we did. That's supposedly it. Hold up. That can't be it. There's gotta be more. Tools of the trade. We did the 10 pieces of flint. We did everything. What the hell? I found Daria. I found Barda. Got the rupee. Maybe I just talked to Riju. Maybe just. Maybe I need to be officially named. Yep, yep, call in the wind. Yeah, yeah, Riju. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh. Yep, yep. Oh. Yep, so bad. Okay, so we already... Okay, I've done all the quests. Right? It's not actually done yet. Oh, I didn't report to Dahlia yet. I'm a big dingus. I thought maybe just... Yep, okay. That's what it is. Totally my bad. I thought for some reason that she would just know, but no, I, I got it. Got to turn it in, obviously. Hey. It's okay, little girl. Almost over. Here we go. Well, if I've never met before, help me clean up the trash. Now the water trough is back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you, Sark? So, <laughs> also got a hydro melon from the lady who cleaned it up. I'll share. The Sark, so for caring about me. Okay, I don't need the watermelon, but thanks. She gave me some wild berries. So now my field is going to be a wild berry patch. You can come eat the berries anytime you like. It'll be great. Okay, great. So that's done. So now we should be able to get the Thunder Helm. It's funny, the list here is only like those four quests. So we didn't need to do the shrine at all. Uh, we didn't need to do the boots at all. All that stuff was just purely extra. But you know what? That's fine. We got some cool gear out of it. It's good. Hello there. Huh? I've heard your recent actions. You've returned smiles to the faces of my people. On behalf of all Gerudo, I must offer you my heartfelt thanks. Sark so. You are, from this moment on, a true friend of the Gerudo. And if I can help a true friend in need, we'll gladly send you the sacred treasure. There we go. Lightning proof. I know that you, more than any other, will be used, you'd be able to use this Thunder Helm to its fullest potential. I believe you can unlock the power of Urbosa that lies within. 
Okay, now she's just gonna go. Alright, bye Regia. Or, sorry, uh, Chief. Okay, let's get the hell out of town. It really seems like... It seems like this outfit is not providing much heat resistance at all. But can I wear it in town? Well, I was gonna wear the entire... I was gonna wear not only it, but also the, uh... Also the male outfit, because I want to see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. So, I want to wear this, this, and this. There we go. That <laughs> actually looks kind of cool. Alright, I'm for it. We look very Grudo-like. Unfortunately, I don't know if they're going to let me in like this. They might. Let's find out. They might just kick us out, though. Yep. Obviously male. Not going to let me in. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. They're going to throw me out. It's fine. We've already done everything inside Gerudo Town anyway. At least they didn't actually, like, throw me out. So that's good. But the heat resistance is really good now. So. Um. Hold on. I was going to teleport. That's what I'm going to do. So now we're basically done with Gerudo. I mean, there might be more stuff around here. We don't know, but for right now, we're done. Right, there's a temple over there, or a shrine, rather. Probably a shrine right there as well. I marked that for some reason. I don't remember why. And there's something over here in the shrine I need to get. You know what? Let's go over to the tech lab. I haven't actually turned in any of the ancient tech in a very, very long time. And we have a ton of cash right now. We could give it to a fairy, but you know why. Link is basically wearing nothing on his upper body. Probably true. Basically true. He's basically wearing a shoulder pauldron. That's about it. Okay, so I'm going to see what we can buy here. Okay. Ancient materials and rupees. So, I don't think we can carry any more ancient, more shields right now, but I am kind of tempted. The ancient bow is pretty good too. This is what I wanted right here, though. And it looks like we have enough. Oh, we need a lot of ancient gears. Wow, that's a lot of ancient gears. Okay, so we can't afford everything. So I can only really buy one of these, because the ancient gears are so, so, so needed. Well, shoot, I want to buy the whole thing at once. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to go to Hyrule Field here, Central Hyrule. And basically knock out a bunch of these Guardians. Alright. Then we'll do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.